here in Evergreen Cemetery, for which Cemetery Hill is named. This was kind of the focal point of the Battle of Gettysburg, the high ground that the Union occupied. And as long as they occupied it, Confederates were not able to win the battle. Here in the middle of the cemetery was an incredible story that I think represents in many ways the civilian cost of the Battle of Gettysburg. The statue you see behind me is the Gettysburg Women's Memorial. It is a statue of Elizabeth Thorne, who along with her husband Peter, were the caretakers of Evergreen Cemetery when it opened. And Peter and Elizabeth were both German immigrants. They immigrated to this country, found their way here. We've talked earlier about what it was like for immigrants here in this region. But Elizabeth was six months pregnant when the Battle of Gettysburg began. Her husband Peter had gone off to war. He was not here. And on the night of July 1st, as Union troops are gathering here on Cemetery Hill, Elizabeth makes some meals for some of the Union officers who gather here. In the days that follow, she will help guide them along the road, showing them where the roads lead out of town. And then after the battle, six months pregnant, it's going to be her responsibility as the cemetery caretaker to bury the bodies that were left here on the hillside. There are about 91 bodies that she buried here at Evergreen Cemetery, mostly by herself or with the help of her elderly father. They hired two other caretakers, but after a couple days, both of them got sick and decided they couldn't continue. Six months pregnant, she's burying these bodies in some of the rockiest soil in Pennsylvania. To get six feet down is very, very difficult, but she does it. She gives birth a few months later but she will write that her own health and the health of her baby were never quite the same after that experience. To me, it's a reminder of the high cost of war, not just for those who are combatants, but also for those who are civilians who bear the brunt of it. And imagine her doing this while not knowing where her husband is or what he's doing. She has to bear the burden herself. And like we've been saying in this series, oftentimes these things come to us and we have to endure. Elizabeth Thorne endured, she wrote about her experience. And just now in these last few years, her story is coming to light. This memorial was put in in 2002. I think we need more and more stories of people who've been resilient, not because they have been engaged in battle, but because they've had battle come to them and they've endured anyway. It's a great story and one I think we ought to remember.